What's up guys, this is the Rifeman I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play campaign as Greece. Sort of round up where we left off last time, the Americans have joined the war and we are also experiencing a siege of Damascus and we've already repelled one of their forces once already. Um, and now they are attacking us again with slightly more elite force, with some more interesting troops and they have artillery so they can make their own breaches. So let's fight. Do whereby we just hold up in our forts and then just cut them to ribbons once they enter and I suspect they will well I hope we've got uh, breaches and if we do that's perfect because then they will just try and come straight into those and then we can cut them down that would be my preferred outcome nice we're such solid troops okay okay lots of lots of breaches so, hmm. can't put anyone up on here. They will do, they will literally do. Uh, why is this? Some must have, they must have blown the gate open, I suppose, because the others aren't open, so there's not a spy. conscripts up here. Okay, so let's put two strong units of line in the centre. A weak unit of line like so. A strong unit of line inside. A smaller unit like so. This unit back to back. I might want to do that. So they only shoot people that come through the breach. And we've got a strong unit of colonials. Might put the Farlock armed citizenry in here, because they can't really do much else useful. Or they might actually. No, you know what? They'll garrison that section of the wall. So the armed citizenry of pikes can just hold back. Small colonial foot can hold this alleyway. This colonial line can go inside here. And then we've got two units as reserve. Cool. Wait a minute. Okay, they are in. They've just not got a, a flat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and not interesting. Okay, All right. They've not got a unit flag, but okay. I'm happy for the, these guys to be lost. My only real use for these guys is to pour and pour fire onto anyone who tries to get through this gap first. Bows are going to the left. Cuirassiers are about dragoons. They've dismounted. Perfect. Dragoons over on the flank. They've also dismounted. Okay. They're aiming at this section of the wall, okay. And they're nicely allowing my... Nicely allowing my uh, armed citizen units to do some damage. So I might scoot time forward a bit until they get a bit closer. There we go, now they've changed targets. And now I'm not expecting these guys to do massive amounts of damage, but they'll at least pick them off. I want to run my conscripts so they definitely do take up firing positions. Good. I'm also bothered if they shoot at them going into the gap. I'm more bothered about them if they try to climb any of the walls. A 
What's the grenade is? Actually, gonna try take it. Well, are they gonna take it, or are they just gonna run around it and go straight in? The marines are running in. Oh, well, the marines are actually trying to take the section of the wall. It doesn't really matter because it's completely isolated. Might run my African guards up on the wall just to provide a bit of defence. No, guard mode. So here comes the Bowman Auxiliary coming in through this door. We've started the timer. They were standing to my shut to my bullets very well. Let's just do this. Tag it back. Then get out of the way. Tag it back. The Marines are, are these the Marines? Yeah, the Marines are routing because they're being fired into the flank by this line infantry. It's interesting to know they're not going for here. Good, and they're falling back, so retreat. So my armed citizenry are going to die to the combined actions of these guys. But now they're going to be stuck up on a section of the wall they can't really do anything with. ought to be firing down when you're reloaded firing down down along the corridor good I want to fire will I want them to go to fire wheels, hopefully they'll stand on this side and fire down into the centre. So my section on the wall is going to die. To be honest, they've done, they haven't done badly. They're getting picked off by troops from the... 
we're getting picked off to picked off by troops from the from the city from the the buildings. Are you guys actually firing? Fractionally. Okay, turn firewall off, turn firewall back on. Ah, there we go. Be careful about the cavalry, because they've got cuirassiers. Oh, they're over there. Oh, my arm citizenry are finally dead. Present and pour volleys of lead into the regimental line infantry. Fire! So I've lost this gatehouse, which is fine. Speed up time a little bit because nothing's really happening. So, who are you guys? Sh they're shooting up onto the wall. Okay, let's bring him back in. Something's plugged in and out, so recording beware. Can I speed up time a little bit because nothing's really happening? Then these chaps should pour volley after volley after volley into the breach. Okay, there we go. Lines falling back. The US Marines should be getting picked apart. I just want to keep a careful. Okay. They're not going to be. They're not going to be able to fall back quickly enough. So just form square. Yep, my sacrificial lambs to the cuirassier slaughter. Okay, this is a bit of a... imposition attack, the marines are falling back, I want to make the cuirassiers are out. The ground is, I wouldn't be surprised if they stormed my building, but they seem to be content to stand outside and just get shot to ribbons. Let's 
let's tag it back. run these guys back out of the way because now these chaps are going to be so all that remains are dragoons general's bodyguard six pounders regiment of horse okay so let's triple speed it Get over them running away, coming back, running away, coming back. Native Bowman Auxiliary getting shot to ribbons. Okay, so let's pick three strong units of line. These guys should be enough to either provoke the cavalry into action or to just wipe the rest of the forces off the field so I want to advance onto this block knock out the guns, the general and this unit of dragoons there's still a unit of dragoons and still a unit of of uh, horse artillery but I don't think they will last Everyone fire will nudge forward a little bit. Okay, why aren't you... Okay, a little bit more. Get close and then pour fire at will on them. Confident. Just the dragoons will come back, and they will then fall again. of fire into their into the position the general's got away but that's okay Everyone go in and hit the general. General's been killed. And then let's go get this regiment of horse. Who's going to be super lame? just sit at the back. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to cut the battle here and then bring you guys back when we win. So see you in a sec guys. Alrighty oh, Turns out all I had to do was route that unit of dragoons and that was enough to make the regiment of horse route. Sweet. So that's another valiant defence of Damascus on making sure that Damascus is secure considering they are the focus of all of the attacks I'm experiencing. Although, they may attack Jerusalem now, now I've said that. <laughs> and now they've retreated in that direction. Oh no. Here comes the French Navy. Here comes the French Army again. So I'm probably going to want to... When I take 
um, the Mamluks, I'm going to want to give Persia uh, a state gift to make them happy and make them want to be my friend. Whereas the Russians are on the move again. I suppose it might be a good idea to try and make friends with the Russians again. Even though, judging by their um, offensive na nature against the Ottomans, they're probably in a bit of a conquery sort of mood. Yeah, here come the Mamluks, but I shouldn't worry about them. Well, I'm not worrying about them. They might be a bit of a pain in the ass for this turn. Maybe a couple of other turns, but really, they're going to disappear. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned that they might just go for this army, but at the same time I can't really do much about it. Because I need to replenish and I need to get two more units of line. Um, yeah, I want to siege the hell out of them because they have no artillery. So maybe buff my forces in Cairo a bit because we've got an, a reasonable little garrison there. No walls, but meh. let's hope that they the AI is so focused on going for Damascus they'll avoid Jerusalem even though it's right there. And let's spend leftover money on replenishing the Athens garrison. Yeah, militia in Syria. Yep. Get new bayonets. Nation destroyed Westphalia. So where is my gentleman? Getting you back to Austria, or to France, sorry. So diplomacy, my nation's Persia. Let us trade. I want a light. Oh, okay. But at least we're friendly. Because they're not allied with the Ottomans and the Marathas, and I'm not at war with the Ottomans anymore, so... Well, I will be at war with the Ottomans. Well, yeah, that's, that's a quite good question, actually. They're allied with the Ottomans, so if we take... If we're taking the Mamluks, I am effectively stopping my attack on the Ottomans. So instead, I might push westwards, maybe. Maybe retake Sarajevo. So where's Russia? Okay, at least they regret to find their own. Uh, thing jig. Yeah, Americans want, Americans want peace. So who do I want to win? I want the Brits to win, but they're not doing so well. At all. Maybe on Mexico. Currently indifferent. Allied with Spain and the Ottomans. Damn it, France. Just make peace. If they want to come after me again, that's fine, because we'll just repel them. It's a nice little army there. Nice little navy, sorry. Oh, you. Absolute swine. Hey, it's nice of them to actually to just blockade my port. Oh, someone kill the Grand Columbia. Someone kill Grand Columbia. <gasps> they left Jerusalem alone. Interesting. Weirdly, I might want to try to get an alliance with the Ottomans if I can just keep my northern flank safe. Oh, oh, here comes more French troops. Double French stack against Athens. Interesting. 
we need to see how things go. Uh-oh. Hopefully that's just them bugging out, and then they're just going to sit their army there. Because the problem is, if I turn on the Ottomans, I'll be war of the Persians, and the Persians will cascade into the, the Marathas. Yeah, the Mamluks are frustrating, but they are up a creek. Shia. Trade it raided, of course they are. Maximilian Pippin. It's colonial infantry. It's just a brig, but the trouble is if I fight them, they'll probably I'll probably get intercepted by this bigger French navy. Oh god, that's quite a big Oh god. Oh no. Hmm. 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 Hmm, so, 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 so. I may have to surrender Athens. Because right now, if I give up Athens, then... It's not great, because I've only got a small Middle Eastern region. Because the problem I see it is that I don't think I will be able to defeat. Which, well, to be honest, I don't know how big their armies are. I have not got a clue on how up to strength they are. How they are depleted. and say I can't ally because I'm enemies with France what I might have to do is give France Athens because to be honest it's not an enemy it's only a nice amount of money but I might have to give France Athens to make peace with them to try find some breathing space to grow my empire because right now this is this can't this is not sustainable at all. So eventually when we destroy the army of Baghdad, we'll open up trade well, more trade with the well, land trade with the Persians. I might try, I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to try it, because I can't. See, right now we're down here, and everyone we're fighting is all up here. Uh, so, well, I wonder, and who's is? In France, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to say, okay. I will give you my. Oh, I can't give him a capital, I'll give him Morea. For peace and alliance and trade. No. 
Contrarian, could you get even gifting your poets in your lesser territories? No. Okay, America, what if I give you peace and I give you Korea and we ally? Good. It's now I'm allied with the Americans. It's punted their armies away from my shores. Unfortunately, it does not give me... So the United States is currently at war, not at war with anybody. Open negotiations. No, I don't want to declare war. I want you to join a war, but I can't option it, I think. So I've lost more air, which is unfortunate, after we've spent so much time trying to defend it. So let's take my skirmishes inside. <laughs> Minus 3,000 now. Great. So what's become my capital now? Oh, Athens is still my capital. I'm still at war with France. Policies... Two thousand. God, this campaign's really hard. I think I'm gonna. Well, I, well, there's nothing I can do about it except for. Well, actually, I can do now. Okay, Damascus. Okay, so let's merge together all the armies. I don't care about experience. Disband you. So what's more expensive, guards or line? Line infantry is more expensive, but guards are guards. Let's get rid of you, get rid of you. Get rid of you both. 1400, so that's probably this many line infantry 234 is that two more it's two more line infantry ish I don't want to scup with the ship don't want to get rid of the sloop let's get rid of that and we are ever so slightly positive okay so then Research and tech, you get away from that and instead start going for government consent. And I have to move west and hit the Barbary states, I suppose. But who are you? Ally with Prussia. Am I at war with Prussia? I was. I used to be. Now we're friendly. Well, let's hit in turn. Oh, Jesus. So, do I risk breaking, losing my US alliance already? Well, I've got them. Yes! <gasps> yes, America! Oh, yes, yes, Quebec. Let's do that. Grand, Grand Columbia has come along to try and take my capital first. Beautiful. At least now with the Americans on our side in the war against the against Mexico, at least it might give the Mexicans a bit more of a, something to think about. Uh oh. This is going to be a valiant defeat, I think, for us. But that's going to happen in the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in on, on part 16, where I suspect the final fall of, <laughs> of Athens will happen. Radio. Cheers, guys.